Let's get on with the task in the hand, shall we? What is it, Margaret? Are we going with this, Miss? Sometimes, Margaret, I simply despair of your use of language. Just because you're young, it doesn't mean that you can treat it with disdain. Right, well, yeah, to whatever that meant. What we all want to know, Miss, is are we going with this? Am I to assume that you are referring to Henry, Margaret? No one else round here called Henry, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't quite make sense, Margaret, but I'll let it pass for now. Good, because if we are going with this, we've got a lot of work to do. <coughs> Correct, Margaret, we have. And who better to help us get off to a running start? <coughs> oh, <laughs> than Mr Soggington. Well, I can think of lots of people, but we'll let that pass. Come on, you lot, let's get you too, Beetlebonds. You're the reason we're doing all this, you know. Well, you don't have to do it, do you? I, for one, am not going to let those giddy antis girls get the better of us. And neither are you. <laughs> Oi, you coming or what? You know, it is highly unlikely that we will win. Who asked you? There's a general knowledge section. Right. And for that, you need general knowledge. Right. There's a general fitness section. Right. And for that, you need... Yeah, yeah, I get it. For that, you need general fitness. And at the end, there's an all-round Mr Nice Guy or Gal section. Yep, that could be a problem. Oh, well, life works in mysterious ways. You can say that again, Margaret. <laughs> You can do it, Margaret. You're the best, Margaret. You always get the job done, Margaret. Well, you know what? What? I can, I am, and I do. Think about it. To your stations, everyone. There's not a moment to lose. Welcome to Team Henry. Team Henry? Oh, I'm liking that. You're not going to like this next bit, Henry. First up, Brian for maths. Maths? Second up, Al for top to toe conditioning. Conditioning? What's that when it's at home? Just a little boy, right? Don't worry. Body maintenance with Grinda. <gasps> She's only going to cut your hair, Snot Slime. You're in charge of snacks. <laughs> Margaret, you're... I know what I'm doing, thank you very much. Uh, right. Everyone else is here to support Henry every inch of the way. Yeah! <laughs> Are you sure it was my name that came up on the computer? Ready for a spot of maths, Henry? No! I must confess I did not expect to see you here. Uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. You have come about. Yes, Miss Oddbod. Well, I must say I'm rather pleased to see you here, Henry. Yes, Miss Oddbod. You are Miss Oddbod? Yes. I mean, I know they do say never judge a book by its cover, but your volumes have been... Uh, shall we say, remarkably consistent in their presentation. You are, Miss Oddbod. I haven't finished, Henry. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, remarkably consistent in their presentation and would never have led one to believe that there were such hidden depths. Well, what do you have to say to that, Henry? Uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. Right, well... It's early days. Now then, let's get on with the matter in hand, shall we? Yes, Miss Oddbod. Take these. Yes, Miss Oddbod. And report back to my office same time tomorrow morning. Yes, Miss Oddbod. Well, off you 
you go, then. Yes, Miss Oddbold. Hey, Henry. What you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Hello, my name is and I am an ambassador. Weird lines. That's enough. Now, he's got another page to do after this one. Thanks, Al. Oh, could you, Henry? Could I what? Steal what is rightfully mine. Don't know what you're talking about. That was my job. I was born to do it. Then go ahead and finish it. Oh, I'm not playing your little game anymore, Henry. Boys, you're making the noise. Uh, Henri le Hurid. Yes, Madame Tutu? What are you doing, Henri le Hurid? I'm doing my lines, Madame Tutu. <sighs> and we're watching him, Madame Tutu. I think, little boys, that perhaps you would be happier on the story carpet. This isn't over till it's over, Ambassador. <sighs> Search me. Greetings, Lord High Majesty and Ambassador. Oh, don't you stop, Brian. Maybe you'd like to do my lines for me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so funny. You! You thought these were your lines. And? You don't know, do you? No, what? That you're an ambassador. Am I? That's what it says here. Look! There's a specs for your name. My name's Henry and I'm an ambassador. I'm an ambassador. Ambassador Henry. There has to be a way. Come on, everyone, into the clubhouse. Um, hello, Margaret. What? You have a DVD player in your clubhouse, right? So, what's it to you? Well, I was wondering if I... Well, if you wouldn't mind if I could watch my DVD on it. Depends. What have you got? It's, um, a spy film. I don't like spy films. Apart from Gross Class Zero, of course. No, wait! It is Gross Class Zero! Look! Hmm. All right, then. Right, I'll just put the film on and... Uh, not so fast, Henry. We have to vote on whether or not the club members want to see the film. Yeah, Henry. But there isn't much time before dinner. We've got to hurry. All those in favour of watching Gross Class Zero. Fine, let's start. All those against? Motion carried. Finally. Now we just need to agree what you're giving me in return for letting you use my DVD player. What I'm giving you? But if you want to watch your film here, you have to let me be the leader of the Purple Hand Gang for a week. What? No way! Fine. Then you can watch your film somewhere else. Yeah, Henry. Oh, all right! You can be leader for a week. Now can we just watch... Annie, like, has to pass around the popcorn. But you're right next to it! Do you want to see the film or not? Yes, yes! I'll do it! Here. But can we just watch the film now, please? Put it on, then. And hurry up about it. Yeah, Henry. What are you waiting for? At last! Gross class! Hippos? Are you ready for some super-duper happy-tastic hippo fun? Why did you say you had gross class zero when you really wanted to watch happy hippos just like a baby? Yeah, Henry, a baby. Why are you so late? We've all been waiting for you. Who cares? You'll care.
care when you lose your pocket money for another week. Here's your DVD, worm. The Bumper Wumpa Nappy Wappy Soft Rubbish for Wormy Babies. Mum! Stop being horrid, Henry. Oh, that reminds me. I picked up a film at the library today. Gross Class Zero. <gasps> you like Gross Class Zero? Of course. I used to love it when I was a kid. Snort, bogey, fart, poo. We're all sick and so are you. Gross! <laughs> Can I watch it with you? Well, that was the plan. It's much too late now. If we'd had dinner on time, you could have watched it together. But now it's way past your bedtime. for the pot, please! Nonsense, Henri. The pot is practically yours. But I don't deserve the lead. Not really. I'm sure someone else would be much better in such a, um, a fantastic role. Lacoum. Um... Andrew! What? Hmm, very well. Andrew can audition too. If anyone else would like to audition, please come and put your name down on my list now. Children, please form an orderly queue. What's the matter, Henry? Someone clipped your fairy wings. <laughs> Not funny. Oh, I've got to turn anxious Andrew into a great actor before the auditions, or I really will be king of the fairies. Hi, Andrew. I uh, bet you can't wait for the auditions. Yeah, you'll be great. Um, I'm quite anxious about it, actually. Andrew, what you should be worried about is not getting the part. I should. Of course. This is your chance to step up. Be a man. Make your parents proud. Do you really think so? Absolutely. Imagine how great it'll feel to conquer your fears and go out onto the stage. I'll do it. Like a king. What did you say? I'll do it. You will? Uh, I mean, of course you will. It's hardly worth you auditioning at all. I'm bound to get the part. I'm a born actress. Oh, no. Margaret might get the part. Don't worry, she won't, cos we're going to turn you into a star! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Team Andrew! Aerobic Al! Don't worry, Andrew. I'll soon whip you into shape. Brady Brian! I'm going to help you learn your audition speech. Greedy Graham! You've got to eat to keep your strength up. And Beefy Burn! What are you doing here? I don't know. One, two, three, three and a half, four. Come on, Andrew! Imagine owls, one of the enemy owls! Yeah! Go, Andrew! Time for a well-earned sandwich. Oops. Sorry. It's so easy being me. I'm hard and real. I don't know where all the plastic recycling bottles are. They seem to have disappeared. Sorry, Mum. Gotta go. Well, actually... Ow! Pinter's gotta go too. Now, you haven't forgotten that we're going out for our anniversary meal tonight, have you? Oh, this is heavy pizza. Whatever have you got in here? Uh, uh, come on, Peter, we don't want to be late. Oh, uh, bye, boys. Smelling like a baboon's bed sock? Then help is at hand with Henry and Peter's perfect perfume. I don't know. I thought you said you'd be careful. I am being careful. You know it makes sense! <laughs> uh, 
who in their right mind's going to buy perfume from you? Uh, hello, Miss Oddbod. <gasps> oh, no! Miss Oddbod! What are you doing, Henry? He's selling perfume, Miss. Here, in the playground. Oh, I see. And what is this perfume called, Henry? Perfect perfume, Miss. I'm, um, selling it to raise money for needy children. Would you like to buy some? Ooh, powerful yet understated. I'll take some. What? And as it's for charity, you keep the change. La, I want a bottle. I want two. Coming right up. You smelt the rest. Now smell your best. One at a time now, girls. Here you go, Margaret. You could do with it. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle a tiger than give you money, Henry. Yeah. One, please. I said we'd be rich. <laughs> Quite the little entrepreneurs, aren't we? I'll have that. And in return, you shall both have detention after school. Oh, please. No, we can't be late. My mum and dad are going out for their anniversary dinner. Oh, dear. Double detention. It's so easy being me. I'm Steady. Wait for it, lad. You know what you're writing? Yes, Miss Battleaxe's lessons are not boring with bells on. In code. Right, lad. Now, go! Hmm, not bad, lad. You did that in 33 minutes and 29 seconds. <laughs> not bad at all. Mine? And let this be a lesson to you. No more code cracking, Henry. We've got to crack this code, Henry. I know, but it's not like anything I've ever seen before. So what do we do now? We've tried everything. Time to call in the expert. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. We know that already. Do you think you can do it, Peter? <sighs> I'll have a go, but I might need reinforcements. Hmm, it's not like anything we've ever seen before, but we'll have a go. Boys can do anything! What are you doing? Oh, it's a little ritual we have. We always do it before we set off on an important mission. Get a move on, will you? We'll leave them to it, shall we? Yeah. Seriously strange, aren't they? Too right. Look at them. Code crackers extraordinaire. And what can we do? Come on, Ralph. You're one of the most talented kids I know. Well, yeah. If you count being able to fart the alphabet as a talent. Oh, I do. I do. A. B. C. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Those two are up to something. Yeah, up to something. The pigeon has definitely taken off. Yeah. You what? I said the pigeon has taken off. 
Yeah, I've got no idea what you're talking about, Margaret. Oh, don't you know anything, Susan? I am talking in code. Yeah, I see. No, I don't. Oh, it goes like this. I say something in code and you answer me back in code and that way the enemy... Yeah, the enemy... The enemy doesn't know what we're talking about. Yeah! It's so easy being me. I'm Lovely we all must be. La, 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 la. I'll get you moody, Margaret. This time, lovely will be our goal. Na, 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 na. Rats! Thank you, Henry. This is lovely and clean now. Will you join me for tea? This isn't right. Move like a cat. On silent pause. Well done. Now stop. Listen. Do you sense danger? Yes, danger approaches. Arch your back and hiss. Henry! I'm watching Happy Hippos! So, what are you going to do about it, worm? out, Henry. But, Mum! Nighty-night, Henry. Sleep tight. How could I sleep with an alien next door? 